So, I was looking in Oregon. Oregon. Almost sounds like Oregon. Oregon. Or origin. Was the first systematic theologian and philosopher of the Christian church. Earlier Christian intellectuals can find themselves to apologetic and moralizing works. Notable among such writers is Clement of Alexandria, who recorded found much of value in Hellenic philosophy. This guy was actually considered a heretic. But the thing is, it makes you wonder, were they actually heretic also themselves? Because what is all that religion? I showed you all the scriptures that contradicts their institutions of the Orthodox and Catholic Church. We all know what Protestantism ends up. So, here we go. Okay, so his teachings were declared heresy at the Council of... Now, this is... Ours, but it was the intellectual center of the Hellenistic world and hot that is become a part of philosophy. No heretic. So he was a heretic. Oh, I see. Tinian the first condemned him as a heretic and ordered all his writings to be burned. Burned him! Oh no, we're all philosophers heretic. Well, in my, you know, some were, couldn't consider heretic because <laughs> they actually didn't believe in Christ. Okay, so. But you can be a heretic and believe in Christ. I mean, nowadays, without him here, they go off on their own. They're, the philosophers, it's not a philosophy, is why it becomes heresy. I mean, to believe. I mean, the French philosopher, theologian, who was accused of heresy. Also accused of heresy by Bruno. So, uh, rationalism. So, we're not, in Christianity, it's not about rational, rational thought as much. I mean, rational thought's not. what our faith is about, you know, any kind of 
thought other than our faith in Christ. You know, I mean, it's retarded people can be Christian. And, and they're more likely to go to heaven if they do believe than an intellectual is a philosopher. He said that, you know, there's no wisdom that will get you to heaven. It's not about wisdom. The whole thing of Christ. That's, that's the heresy right there to philosophy. We honored Locke's, John Locke. I don't say we without probably being mistaken. John Locke was honored by the people who wrote the, the, you know, the early laws of America. Whether he was a, I don't want to even read his writings so much. I just read the essential stuff that we base ours on because he's not the only philosopher we base ours on but basically his he was a, a major influence I don't get that into philosophy we know what our concert says so we have Anything else? Really, there was. It was. There is no current laws in this country. Maybe other countries that we actually aided and, and helped to have money, and supposedly can write a law saying we have to live this way or that way. You know, and. It was for American people. It wasn't for them anyways. Anything. Our money especially. Did you know they have the World Bank? Now, non-Christian and people who are heretic and law, there's never a worse hypocrite than somebody who works on law because everybody ha everybody is condemned by God's laws and by law itself, which is, the, if you read what natural law is from John Locke's theory, which I believe is pretty close to articulating what law is so that leaves everybody pretty condemnable now the, the philosophers you know try to write out and articulate why their person is condemnable but if you read the bible it condemns everybody it says all human all word all are inherently hum humanity, or I think. Hold on a second. Actually, I may be wrong. About the word "all." That's in Romans, I think. According to Christ, 
the limits of the mind are spiritual. So the human mind can learn things angelic in it. I mean, even angels want to know according to the Bible, right? So I know that I've lived in the spirit and have thought about things really hard to articulate exactly you know other than I've read the Bible and there's some words about it right and so I've been you know way up high in spirit thinking about the earthly things like it's just not a lot right because God's a lot and you're thinking about God so by the words <clears throat> but then I are we Jews any better off? <clears throat> no, not at all. I've already charged that all men, both Jews and Greek, are under the power of Satan. All men, all men, both Jews and Greeks, are under the power of sin. This is what's written. None is righteous, no, not one. No one understands, no one seeks for God. All have turned aside. Together they have gone wrong. Together they have gone wrong. No one does good, not even one. They're, no, no one does good. And this is after they're learning about all this philosophy of what's good or not. And Jews, Jews mainly, is a condemning. Because they're the ones who care and were pretending they're good. Nowadays, it's not just Jews. It's all the people working on law, especially military people, officers, or, or, or cops, and judges, and, you know, people like that, politicians. Their throat is an open grave, and they use their tongues to deceive. The venom of asp is under their lips. Their mouth is full of curses and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. In their paths are ruin and misery. In the way of peace, they do not know. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now we know that whatever the law says, it speaks to those who are under the law. So that every mouth may be stopped and the whole world may be held accountable to God.
Well, I have to find it, but lock him in to increase the trespass. But where sin is, so this is where law is a uh, little bit condemned. We are justified by faith, have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through Him, we have obtained access to this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in our hope of sharing the glory of God. Now, all that's really a priestly matter, not a, a, a law matter. More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. Hope that does not, this is about the baptized, not the world, obeying laws. More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing it does not disappoint us, because God loves, God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. While we were yet, so people working on law are absolute scoundrel, many of them, you know, I mean, they arrest cops by the dozens going to child porn sites. You know what I mean? Uh, lesbians are in homose openly homosexual men are cops. You know, there's cops who... I met this one kid. He says he's running around in, on Xanax. And he got thrown in jail. And one of the cops raped him up the butt while he was high on Xanax. You know, they have those jail cops with him make you bend over to, to look up your butt or whatever. They check, make sure they're not bringing in things to jail. They, they check their butthole. It's probably that guy, I, but that doesn't mean that was, was him. I, I, I imagine only a gay guy would do that. So, I mean, cops, if adultery is not a criminal trespass, you know, if it's not criminal, cops will, will police the whole country trying to make everybody commit adultery because it's legal and commit as much adultery as they want. And, you know, I mean, they want, because they're violent, they want, you know, they believe that they can rape and get away with it because they're cops or whatever in some towns. It depends on how corrupt the town is. The police chief's corrupt that way, or the judges, you know, I mean, they want all the pretty girls to be molested and raped and not go and do anything about it, you know, I mean, all kinds of things. You got the National Guard, any officers in any town, they want them all forced to be prostitute. They want to be allowed to have adultery or whatever, you know. When there's, when there's like, in some tech communities, when executives are living that way and the rich are living that way, they, they want, they try to put in people who won't do, you know, mafia bosses, if there's a lot of mafia and stuff, they pay them off. They pay, put it, try to get all the corrupt people they can, you know, so that they turn the other away from, from all that stuff, you know, just not pay attention to it. Oh, just another pretty girl being forced into prostitution or whatever, you know. And they get on steroids and they're like, you know, they could beat and kill guys up, sleep with their wives, sleep with their daughters, sit in town, policing. They're not really policing, they're combing the schools for the girls who are pretty and stuff, you know. I mean, they do all kinds of stuff. go through probably they go through the divorce court records so they can find the divorce women and go sleep with them or whatever you know to lie to them my mom had cops lying to them when she got divorced 
she had cops and, and firemen and everybody else when they found out she was divorced they were lying to her and telling him that uh, they were divorced also and they really were still married and they you know they'd take her out and date her and everything stuff and then she'd find out they're married and she said more than one cop and they knew each other and then a fireman did it she, she stopped dating them she stayed home and they were all married cops so I imagine they do that to a lot of women you know so honoring them as a Christian you're not even supposed to greet them in the Lord you're not supposed to let them in your house and if you don't know an officer don't talk to them don't socialize with them let them find let them have gay sex or something we don't care you know leave them alone don't marry them don't even date them not in modern times is it safe that's my suggestion I don't care you know I would say don't really know them don't don't go on a date with them because they're the worst they're violent they're on steroids they seem to be on steroids at all so leave them alone I mean no man ever should needed steroids unless it was a real medical reason the doctor had to give it to him you know which some because of like hyperactivity and different things I don't know I think my my cousin son he was hyperactive and they gave him steroids for some reason so I don't know a certain kind of steroids so I imagine there's medical reasons even growth hormones like some people are super super short and they have a problem not producing the growth hormones I've, I've never had any qualms about my height. A um, little bit shorter than average, but... Was it? Well... Proportioned and, and athletic. So I didn't... I just felt... There was a reason. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. You know, humanity is not, we all have that, you know, I mean, if, if we could be the most righteous people and, uh, you know, be Cub Scouts and all that and whatever. And all the Cub Scouts I know rotten scoundrels as soon as they start hit puberty man and um, you know I mean there's really not a lot of reason to believe that people just learn about reason you know just learn about philosophy and learn what philosophers said is good and do good deeds and are good. You know what I mean? 
so like Shriners and, and Freemasons and all them, you know, they're like worshiping the devil and then they go and give to a charity and that makes them good to themselves. Or if they go out and, and uh, work on a job that has to do with law, that's good. But see, some people consider it good no matter what it is, as long they're a good citizen as long as they pay their taxes. You know, I mean, per, there, there's different kinds of uh, people have their own philosophy of what's good. And, you know, I mean, there's, who, who knows what some people would think, or, like, just have small businesses about themselves, you know, business people. They don't believe in Christ, or if they do, they're worse than the people that don't, because they do the same things bad, you know. It's not a philosophy. I mean, it's not like you just read this book and, I mean, the book is itself is about being baptized, about faith. And that is a myst which Protestants don't really believe, but it, it is a mystical thing. And it's, it's not a normal thing. You know, it's not like normality like you know, going to school or what whatever anybody else could do i mean anybody can be baptized but you have to actually have faith you know to baptize somebody who doesn't even believe in god that's wrong my point i just can't find it Okay, so law is not sin, yet it hasn't... If it had not been for the law, I should not have known sin. See, that's what it's saying. I should not have known what it is to covet with a... The law had not said, you shall not covet. But sin, finding an opportunity in the commandment, rot, apart from the law, sin lies. You know, another... Like, you know... <coughs> they're showing all this stuff on TV. I would not have imagined what happens in this world if it wasn't for vice and and i mean i just it just would you know i mean there's crappy things that happen that i had to be aware of but not like if you watch all all the crime shows and and things about the go through the courts you know so that i can see you know how the law i was was alive apart from the law but when i commandment came sin revived and i died the very commandment which promotes so, so um, sin finding opportunity in the commandment wrought in me all kinds of covetousness apart from the law sin lies dead. For sin, finding opportunity in the commandment, deceived me, and by it killed me. Okay. Not to say I'm the writer or that that's the perfect translation of what the person may have been a lot more understandable if he really knew what he wrote, but... <coughs> I mean, it's understandable, but this seems to leave a lot to understand. worry about it did that much is good did did that which is good then bring death to me by no means did that which is good then bring death to me by no means it was sin working death in me so it wasn't the law it was sin but because of the law we know what sin is so what is good in order that sin might be shown to be seen and through the commandment might become sinful beyond measure we know that the law is spiritual but i am carnal sold under sin so the law is actually spiritual, but we are carnal. I do not understand my own actions, for I do not do what I want. It's a law. It's so like John Locke was saying what law is, but law is a spiritual thing. Not not the the rules that we write out, but law, like the, the, the actual origin of law, like 
the natural law, right? The nature of law, the where the that ex, why we write down rules. You know what I mean? I do not understand my own actions, for I do not do what I want, but I do for everything I hate. Now, if I do what I do not want, I agree that the law is good. So then it is no longer that I that do it, but sin which dwells within me. I do not understand why my own actions. For I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. I that do it, but sin which dwells within me. For I know that nothing good dwells within me that is in my flesh. So there's, this is saying... Nothing good dwells within that is flesh. I can will what is right, but I cannot do it. That is what situation a lot of people working on laws are in because they are not real Christian. For I do not, but because law is spiritual, it's deceptive. They're like, Satan disguised of angel like Satan disguised himself as an angel of light to Christ. They're in they're wolves in sheep's clothing. They're 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 like the devil disguised as as light because they're working on law and law is a spiritual thing. For I know that nothing good dwells within me that is in my flesh. I can will what is right, but I cannot do it. And that's the way the lot of the military is. <coughs> <coughs> all the officers and people working on defending the constitution and government institution for I do not do the, the good I want but the evil I do not want is what I do now if I do what I do not want it is no longer I that do it but sin which dwells within me it's fine to be a law when I want to do right evil lies close at hand for I delight in the law of God in my inmost self, but I see in my members another law at war with the law of the mind and making me captive to the law of sin which dwells in my members. Wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from this body of death? Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord, so then I am I of myself serve the law of God with my mind, but with my flesh I serve the law of sin. There's therefore... Now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. For God has done what the law weakened by the flesh could not do. Sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh. And for sin he condemned sin in the flesh. In order that just requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on things of the Spirit. And that is only possible by baptism. To set them of the Holy Spirit, not just water. To set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. For the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. So a lot of people only have their mind on flesh and they don't submit to God's law. Like I was saying, the cops do adultery stuff and they go out and persecute people and they do pedophilia. So they're set on flesh and they don't submit to God's laws. Adultery, you know, do not murder, thou shalt not kill, all that stuff. So dangerous people. But you're not in the flesh, you're in the spirit. If the spirit of God really dwells in you, anyone who does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although your bodies are dead because of sin, your spirits are alive because of righteousness. And this is true for psychology because they, they're trying to learn about the, the, you know, their rational thought. They're trying, the psychologists study the, the mind, but they, minds are carnal and they just think about the flesh and they just think about earthly things. And <clears throat> they learn about nothing that has to do with Christ or being in the spirit or being in the image of Christ and learning the spiritual things or the transformations of the mind. Like in a, like a flash of light, sinful thought can go away. 
you know, because we could stray in our mind, get our mind on our own affairs and not think about God. And then I'll just sudden just stop and think about God. And boom, all that goes away in our heart and mind. But a psychologist would say, oh, you need meds. That is, uh, what do they call that? Where you're moody or whatever. Uh, I mean, it's just, there's all kinds of stuff that, that really I don't believe I trust psychologists about. Because I think most of them are probably drug addicts or addicted to meds themselves and just give handout meds like it's nothing. Yeah, so a whole lot, a lot of two the institutions of law and everything. It's really dangerous because the people working on it are dangerous. I mean, the law itself might be good, but none of the people working on it, and and they write bad laws. Period. You know, and it's heresy involved. There's philosophers and. And then they end up treason and everything else against every, you know, they don't even care. And it's not because of, you know, some of them are treason because they, they belong to a different religious institution than most people or some, you know, like Catholics or, or Jehovah's Witnesses or, or, you know, Mormons. I don't know. Any of them can end up treason because they belong to some global religion, you know, and it's, it is a universal religion, but the institution that they use over there in Rome is a government, and even allowing them to work on our government is like letting spies from another government involved with our government, you know? It's... It's wrong. Especially since they're so closely tied in with the Italians and Spanish, you know. I mean, that's since it's right over there. They that's basically just been for Italians and Spanish people that religion. Everywhere else they went, they they pretty much were just spies from for the Italians and Spanish, you know. Like the Orthodox, they're kind of spies for the Russians, the communists. There's like a lot to say about it, but I just can't. Let's go. Really gave God his own because they exchanged the truth about God, a lie, and to worship and serve the creature rather than, than the creator. Creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. For this is the reason God gave them up to dishonorable passions. See, God just gave them over to it. He, he could, he's who keeps people from being because he created us in his image, but he was who keeps us. It was all him, you know, not our physical, it was spiritual. He gave them over their hearts to impurity, to the dishonoring of their bodies among themselves, because they exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshiped, served a creature rather than the creator. For this reason, God gave them to dishonorable passions. Their women exchanged natural relations for unnatural. And that's happening a lot, right? Just look at the internet. And then men likewise gave up natural relations with women and were consumed with passion for one another. And that's all over the place. And men committing shameless acts with men and receiving in their own persons the due penalty for their error. <laughs> Monkeypox. AIDS. So, and since they did not see fit to acknowledge God, God gave them up to a base mind and to improper conduct. MTV. Rock and roll. 
They were filled with all manner of wickedness, evil, covetous, malice, full of envy, murder, and strife, deceit, malignancy, and they are gossips. Oh no, internet. Slanderers, haters of God, insolent, haughty, boastful, inventors of evil, Hollywood. Disobedient to parents, internet. Foolish, faithful, heartless, ruthless. Though they know God's decree, but those who do such things deserve to die. They deserve to die. And they not only do this, but approve those who practice it. Oh no, government. Watch the DC.